First of all, thanks for buying an Air Knight. I'm Chris with Air Knight, and in this video, I am going to walk you through how to use and understand your Air Knight CO2 monitor. Plug in the CO2 monitor and press the power button to turn it on. Calibrate the CO2 monitor. Take the monitor outside or in a well-ventilated area with very high air quality and wait for the CO2 value to drop to or close to the lowest 413 reading. Once the reading is at or close to the 413 reading, press and hold the left button for 5 to 10 seconds until you hear a beep sound and the CO2 value starts flashing. Wait 5 to 10 minutes for the flashing to stop. Note, when the CO2 value stops flashing, this signifies the CO2 sensor calibration is complete. Enjoy the added benefits of having an air night in your home. The Air Knight CO2 monitor was designed with a built-in CO2 alarm. This CO2 alarm beeps when the CO2 level surpass the threshold, which you can set. The purpose of the CO2 alarm is to notify you right away so the appropriate action can be taken immediately to improve CO2 levels. For example, by opening a window or door or stopping the activity causing the high reading. The CO2 alarm's default setting is on. The CO2 alarm can be turned on or off by simply pressing the right button and holding it for 3 seconds. Exposure to less than optimal CO2 levels for an extended period of time may not be healthy and it is therefore recommended to keep this CO2 alarm function turned on. This alarm signals shows whether the CO2 alarm is turned on or off. The CO2 alarm's default threshold is 1000 ppm which is above the desired range. It is recommended to keep the CO2 alarm set at this 1000 ppm threshold to ensure the highest probability of maintaining optimal indoor CO2 levels below 1000 ppm. Press the power button two times quickly. The CO2 value will start flashing. Press the left and right buttons to increase or decrease the CO2 alarm threshold to your desired level. Press the power button to finish setting the CO2 alarm level. If you want to adjust the screen brightness, you can do so by pressing the left button to decrease and the right button to increase. Please reference this table in your user manual. Generally speaking, the targeted ranges are as follows. CO2 less than 1000, temperature in the 65 to 79 range, and humidity in the 30 to 60 range. As the CO2 reading changes, you will see the emoji face of the respective CO2 range show. Definition. Carbon dioxide is a gas which is colorless, tasteless, and is important for plant growth. Impact on health. Too much CO2 may cause drowsiness, reduce cognitive function, and poor decision making. CO2 is generally allowable up to 1000 ppm. With readings above 2000, it can cause dizziness, tinnitus, or even suffocation. Possible causes of high readings. Poor ventilation and recycled indoor air. Cooking, especially using the oven, and use of certain appliances. Soil buildup and mold. Tips to improve. Increase air circulation. It is imperative that a room or building has proper ventilation to ensure lower healthy levels of CO2. Outdoor air typically contains CO2 levels between 400 and 450 ppm although certain areas may have less healthier outdoor air and be above this. Add plants to your home. This helps to reduce CO2 and increase oxygen, which can have the effect of making you feel less drowsy. Some recommended indoor plants for improving air quality in your home are Eureka Palm, Philodendron, Rubber Plant, Peace Lily, Dracaena, Snake Plant, Boston Fern, Aloe Vera, English Ivory, and Spider Plant. Use filters and air purifiers. To improve indoor air quality, it is highly recommended to not use only a standard pleated or HEPA furnace filter, but also an air purifier in the areas in which you spend the most time. Perhaps maybe your home office or bedroom. Tip number one, open a window. Often the quickest and most practical way to get CO2 readings back into the desired range is to simply open a window to ventilate more clean outdoor air into your home. Tip number two, be aware of your cooking. Cooking often releases increased amounts of unhealthy pollutants into the air, including but not limited to CO2. Furthermore, how and what you cook determines how much CO2, if any, will be released into the air. Tip number three, strange readings, do this. Number one, turn the device off for some time, then turn it back on again. 
effectively allowing the monitor to reset. After continuous use for extended periods, the device may simply need to be reset. Number two, open a window or bring the device outdoor to allow the CO2 sensor to exhaust any accumulated fumes and to allow the readings to adjust back down to more normal levels. For more detailed information about your CO2 monitor, please reference the user manual. I hope this has been helpful. If you ever have any questions or concerns, you are more than welcome to contact us at the contact information shown below or in your user manual and we'll always do our best to help. Again, thank you for buying an Air Knight and we sincerely hope you like it.